Hello guys! Hello! How are you? Hi! Welcome to my channel! Uh, anyway, I'm very busy today. I'm doing uh, uh, lots of uh, things to send home. And apparently, this is the, uh, the things that I bought from the shop. Is <laughs> only one. Uh, I what is this? Oh, look. <laughs> it's so big. The bag, the shopping. Look at that. It says here, I only came in for one. For one thing, yeah. Oops, I cannot read it. I only came in for one thing, but I end up buying a lot for for the kids, for the children to send home anyway. So. So here is this, the thing that I bought. I have uh, here a car for the children. And <coughs> It's only toy for Christmas, advanced, advanced Christmas present. Yep. And this one. So, this, another one, this is for, because too many children at home. So, I know where to give them. And then this one for another one, so I know I know who's to to give it. And there's a car here. How many kids, boys and girls? Another car here. And this one. So this is all Christmas present. Because you know Christmas is for the children. It's for my granddaughter, the youngest. Okay, but there. I will put name each of it for I know. You know, ouch. And there's here, there's some more here for my uh, sisters and brother. Ouch, ouch. So. I bought uh, tea, this is mint tea, which is one each of this. And pet tea. Pet tea. That's my brother, he likes peachy tips. And this. Celebration chocolate, one each of my brother and sisters. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so guys, here's. So I 
will put name each of them because I I got big family at home, you know. want them to make happy okay that's it <laughs> sorry my uh, camera it fell on the floor it fell on the floor. <laughs> Here is it. Yeah. That's all the chocolate celebration. Small, small things. Tetley. Oh no. Tetley mint, peppermint. So one each of these, one each of the and and chocolate box for each family. So that's fine. From one each of my family, one chocolate box and tea. And the children one each of uh, toys. I hope they like it. So anyway, that is the box that I done already. And I have another box to do. That one. So anyway, I hope everything will be okay. I just need to put my camera here on the thing because it keeps sliding apparently yeah it keeps sliding I just need to finish to finish this uh, one box I need to to put more tape to make sure that close properly since I'm my old this is my old stuff that I need to take for my daughter and granddaughter easy to do packing you know the uh, the stuff to put in the box one by one it's not very easy but I have to Hoping next year, my husband and I are going uh, for holiday. So I hope it's okay to travel, you know. 
But the problem is because my husband, my husband, he is working full time. Uh, I don't think he can get long uh, holiday because of the most company here in the UK they allow only two weeks. So, so it's because of a long journey. How, how many days before, you know, to get to. Uh, Philippines about two days. We're gonna spend two days. Mm. Not anyway. Even though it's not enough, the two weeks. But we are hoping that uh, we can go on holiday. Yeah. That's it. I feel I feel sad, you know, because of what happened to the world. Really sad. Sometimes I don't know what to do guys, you know, because I'm not working at the moment because of uh, I went, I resigned to my, pre, to my jobs and then I went on holiday to Philippines last, last year, September, and I come back here. I spent six months there because I have a lot of things to do because my husband and I bought a house there. Uh, it's not, we did not build a house. We bought a, like a old house. It's not very old, but uh, we are apparently we are third owner. It's only bunga, bungalow house and three bedroom, and has got own gate. Yeah, it's quite nice, cute. Anyway, but uh, that is our uh, uh, retirement home. So at least. Uh, the we bought the house we share half half when I received my uh, private pension here so and he received his private pension here as well so we get half half so hoping that we can go home soon and because I would like my husband to see our home you know because since we bought it, he did not uh, see our house yet in person. So hoping guys, and I pray to God that everything will be okay. So, so sad, so sad really. Because at the moment I'm not working because of this pandemic. And I am worried to, you know, because of uh, most of the job that I want is a long journey. It's about, it takes one hour and a half. So at the moment, I am looking for uh, part-time. Or because full-time, I cannot manage the full-time because I have to do a lot of things at home. And I need to look after myself as well because I'm not young anymore. Sometimes, you know, because of the cold weather, I suffer from pain, you know. So... Anyway, fingers crossed, and I pray to God that everything will be okay. Yeah. I hope uh, those uh, little thing that I s I will s gonna send home, gonna send home. I hope they will appreciate. I hope they will appreciate it, even though only little thing. I just wanted. The children have something to open on Christmas because Christmas actually is uh, for the children, right? Yeah, <clears throat> because you know, children they're expecting always that the Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town, but. I remember before when I was a kid because we are very poor not very very poor we are poor you know and my parents they don't have much money so I thought really there there is a Santa Claus and every every Christmas I hung a socks on the on the window I feel like I wanted to cry because and the next day morning <laughs> When I look at the uh, the socks, <laughs> nothing in there. 
So I thought, where's the Santa Claus? I said to myself, that's why I feel, I know the feelings, you know, as a kid, as a children. And that's why, that's why I work hard. And every little thing that I can, can afford to buy for the children, I give them something little thing. Because I did not experience that when I was a kid. Sorry for my becoming emotional because I was touched and when I remember the Santa Claus, there is Santa Claus coming to our house. And when I saw that socks is empty, it's so sad. I feel so sad that time. But I can't blame my parents because they are not rich, you know. They are not rich so parents, but at least they are good, good parents. It's enough for us for living. Okay. What, what they provide for us, it's enough for us anyway. And I thank them anyway. They are, they're both in heaven now. My both parents are, are uh, died already. They, my father died in 2011. My mother died 20, 2017. I went home 2016 or 2015. I went home to to look after her as as a to, as a care to look after my mom because she had uh, amputated her left leg was amputated and that's I stayed for a month at home to look after my mom. And then when I come back here in, to the UK in the UK. I support her medication and everything, and then she another leg amputated again, and then she kept coming in out the hospital, and then April seventeenth she died because she cannot cope with the two amputated that she lost her both legs from a diabetic, from diabetes. So, that's why I feel, I feel so sad, you know. I feel really so sad. But I understand, you know. But anyway, thank God that she's now in heaven and no more pain, no more, no more problem for her. But now I have to be strong and, you know, at least I'm still grateful because I have a husband that very supportive and very understanding to me. Even though there are some people, they criticize me, they don't understand me. But Because sorry because I become emotional but I am hoping that that for this those little thing that I would like to send home to reach them a happy Christmas okay guys sorry for being emotional and bye bye Bye, guys.